I'm TFG and I own the Bull Armory Tech four and a quarter. I'm Riders Range and I've got the Staccato P. Nothing beats the Staccato P. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. This is my Bull Armory SAS2 TAC four and a quarter. I've only owned it for about two and a half weeks, but I have fallen in love with it. Love the polymer grip. Has a great feel to it, a gritty texturing. Nice mainspring housing and front strap, a flared magwell. It has an aluminum frame, four and a quarter inch barrel, full length guide rod, deep cut slide serrations. They all come optic ready. I have a Holosun 507C on there. Taller sights, which will allow a nice co-witness and lightning cuts in the slide. It has 18 round magazines, which is very nice, and a trigger that is sub two pounds. A beautiful trigger. I think it looks super cool with the cutouts in there, but also that 1911 trigger is just amazing. You can take a look at it right there. Ambidextrous thumb safety comes with a great carry case, patch tools, and so much in the case, and an MSRP of $1,760. Yeah, I love it. It shoots great. It's been extremely reliable, and it handles so well. The Staccato P, man, I bought this a couple of years ago, and I love this gun. I love Staccatos in general. The uh, P, this is actually an older generation. The new ones change the texture a little bit, but like so many of the 2011s, it's a hybrid grip module. It's got an aluminum frame with a uh, polymer grip module and steel rails in it. A fairly aggressive uh, it's a pattern type texture. It's not really uh, uh, checkered or anything, but it gives a good solid grip even with wet hands on it. Of course, typical uh, uh, grip safety. A polymer face trigger. This thing breaks it uh, right around two pounds. It's a duty guy. I tell you, if I was still working in a uniform, I'd be carrying this. Really aggressive serrations front and back. Easy to do a press check. It's got a, just a one slot rail on it, which is kind of typical of, uh, of the 1911 or 2011s. Ambidextrous safety. Uh, this does come as a uh, an optic ready version. However, you got to buy the optic plates uh, from uh, I think uh, Dawson Pre Precision sells them. The nice thing about the Staccato P is it's cut for the Leupold Delta Point Pro, so you don't have to have a plate. It's a direct mount on it, and the uh, Delta Point Pro actually comes with an optional rear sight, fiber optic green sight. Uh, excuse me, fiber optic front sight, a uh, very slight reverse crown or target crown of the barrel. <laughs> Man, this gun drills everything. I love it. Oh, aluminum magwell too. For a duty gun, you can't beat it. Here is Ryder's Staccato P. I've shot this before, I've enjoyed it. It also handles very well. Extremely accurate shooting handgun. 17 round mags. Am I gonna love it more than the bull? I don't know, but let's take a few shots. I'll admit that I like Bull Armory product. I never tried the double stack. I never had a reason to. I like my staccato. But since the firearm guy was so kind enough to stop out here today, I had to try the TAC 4.25. Let's just see how it'll work here on the plates. Uh, am I going to convert to my staccato P? I don't know. He's got to convince me. Here we have the staccato P on the right. The Tac four and a quarter on the left. The Staccato has an MSRP right around twenty five hundred dollars, so it's much more expensive than the Bull Armory Tac four and a quarter. Here we're looking at seventeen hundred and thirty dollars, so we're looking at over seven hundred dollars more for the Staccato. Is it worth it? Let's take a look at these now. This has a four and a quarter inch barrel. You'll notice some rain. We're outside here, and then this has a four point four inch barrel. The barrel length is essentially the same. As we mentioned, the grip is a little thicker with the Staccato P. I feel just to be a hair thinner there. The texturing is a little bit different, but the writer told me that Staccato is now making a more gritty texture, such as the TAC 4 and a quarter. And here we're looking at the back. Not a lot to say there. No, this is a loophole sight rear sight here but both are serrated black this has a fiber optic front sight this is a black sight that is serrated 
both ambidextrous safeties. I think the slide serrations are a bit deeper cut with the TAC four and a quarter compared to the Staccato P. All right, both have bull barrels. So I left the action open. We'll take a look at this. A little bit of a reverse crown on the right with the Staccato P and not so much with the TAC four and a quarter. The plate that needs to be ordered that Ryder talked about is an additional cost above and beyond that 2500 as where Bull has this plate already installed for an RMR footprint. That's why I have the Holosun 507C on there. So it was so easy just to mount that for the original cost of the pistol. The triggers, both are great, both sub two pounds, but here we have that trigger with the Bull is so nice with the reset right there. I like the way it's cut there. And then the staccato is nice too, but I, I don't know, I, I think I like the bowl just a little bit better. Maybe I'm biased here, but I think I like the bowl a little bit better. That's nice though, I have to say, that's nice. You know, in the 1911, 2011, both very nice triggers. The staccato has a 17 round mag. Bowl was able to keep the same size mag and use a 18 round mag. So that is certainly a benefit in favor of the bull tack four and a quarter. Firearm guy mentioned all the specs on it, but you know, I've been a staccato guy going from well, way back when the uh, C first came out. I've got three staccatos, I, I really do like them. Uh, the fact that this has the Dawson toolless guide rod makes it real easy to take down the gun. One complaint I have about those, much as I love staccatos, is the optics. It doesn't come with any optics plates at all. The, it's $50 to get the kit to mount the loophole Delta Point Pro directly to the gun. It's about $160 to get any other plate that you want that's optics specific. Not real fan of that. Uh, but on the other hand, <laughs> I, I still like my staccato. I think I mentioned that this has a, a single uh, rail on it, whereas the, the bull has a pick rail. A couple other things, and again, firearm guy mentioned the, uh, uh, some of the specifics. The SAS-2 is a little bit lighter. Uh, this is a steel frame staccato P. Now, they do make this also an aluminum frame, uh, which gets it down closer to the same weight. But <laughs> big, big turnoff on that is going to be the, the price. Uh, wow. It's really hard to, to beat this. Now, if I'd never bought a staccato, would I be looking at the bull? I have to say, with my experience with bull 1911s, yeah, I, um, as I said at the beginning, he's full of bull. Well, that's not true. The, the bull is actually quite full of features, and I like it. Both have very light recoil springs. The bull is a 11-pound recoil spring, and it feels like the staccato P is the same. The bull has cutouts in the slide, and the philosophy there is to take that weight off of the slide, which would account for the addition of the optic, and so that makes it really nice, doesn't it? You don't have to change it out. The staccato does not have a cutout or anything, but it does have an extended magazine release, and we'll see the same thing with the bull, both very nice. The fit and finish on both of these is first class. There's no doubt about that. Both shoot incredibly well. Both very nice handguns. The advantage with the TAC four and a quarter, you're getting a lesser cost, especially with the MSRP by a lot. It also has the optic plate included. As I mentioned, cut for an RMR and 18 round magazines. The Staccato has advantage too it is made in america it comes with 217 and 120 round mag so you get an additional mag with the staccato and it's a great shooting handgun people i have to believe are going to say well i like the staccato because it, it it's out and it's available more other people have told me they they want to get their hands on this they're having trouble locating it this is the most popular gun that bull armory produces by far and for good reason this thing is amazing. I have not been convinced today that I would trade in the bull tack in a uh, four and a quarter for the staccato P. I would choose the tack four and a quarter. I just think it's phenomenal. I like everything about it. This is a great handgun. Let's get Ryder's thoughts. I, I've got to agree. If, if I didn't already have the the, the staccato, uh, this uh, this checks all the boxes really, except for the fact that as the fire guy I mentioned, not made in America, but uh, other than that, it checks all the boxes. It's every bit as accurate, it's as reliable, it's as easy to shoot, it's a little bit lighter, and it's a little bit lighter on the wallet. <laughs> What's not to like about that? 
Um, okay, uh, am I convinced? Am I going to sell my staccato P and buy a bull? Uh, probably not. Does that mean that I'm going to be looking for a bull? I just maybe. I think I may be convinced. Well, I always appreciate making my way out to Ryder's Range. He has a great range here. Phenomenal shooter. I learned a lot from this guy. I certainly enjoyed comparing these two handguns. Uh, we both made our decisions. What we really want to know is what you think. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what you have going on? Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff coming up on uh, Ryder's Range. I uh, uh, just picked up uh, another Kimber KDS-9. Uh, I have borrowed the uh, H&K USB Expert from the firearm guy. And I'm no expert, but uh, I'm so far I'm having fun with a gun. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm having a good time out here with... Uh, I got some stuff in the can that we're still working on. But it was just a great opportunity to work with a firearm guy out here on uh, my range and look at uh, a gun that uh, I have never shot before, and I'm glad I did it. Uh, that is a really, really nice gun, and as I said, checks all the boxes. And uh, you got an opportunity to turn me into Riders Range YouTube channel. We sure appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Been a pleasure. Pleasure's mine. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.